Well, I'm trying to pack to go out of town, but one of the vendors who has a booth here at Emmonsburg Antique Mall, which is conveniently located right next to me, uh, uploaded a photo on Instagram of some Holt Howard Santa Claus salt and pepper shakers. And of course, the tag was down in the photo, which felt like a targeted ad, felt like a personalized message of, Kate, get your lazy bus butt across the street and come check it out. So it looks like they have rearranged for Christmas and uh, I'm here to check it out before I finish back packing. <laughs> wow, I am tired. Serious lamp fixture situation happening here. I'm really into that weird owl and that driftwood lamp. I don't know if that is driftwood actually. What is that called? Uh, cypress name. That is really neat. Santa Claus doll. How much is this one? 18. Here's another one of these uh, reproduction elves. Gosh, it's like $9.50. I'm like, I don't wanna make it a habit of selling these. I've, I did it last year a couple times and they sold for more than I thought they would, but they're still not the real thing. Now you would think I would be able to just go straight to the booth since I know where it is and let the rest go since I have so much stuff to do today, but I have serious FOMO, fear of missing out. I can't just bypass everything else, especially because a lot of stuff looks different. Looks like this person has restocked too. I've been finding some good stuff in here. I love the uh, decanter set. It's green. <laughs> My favorite color, low-key. Everyone thinks it's pink, but it's actually green. These are cool, too. I like those. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought this was one piece. Porcelain seal. <laughs> Look at this tiki mug thing hiding in the back. Oh, it's new. And then got some cat and boot salt and pepper shakers. How much are those? $12, 20%. It's a little close for me, especially because I've had them before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Double my gosh. Look at this creamer. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. $24. So even with the discount, I don't think I can do anything with that. All right. So like, this is all brand new. This Santa wind-up toy is the first thing that stands out to me. $24. It works, so that's really cool. That would be a great piece for a collector. And uh, the flock deer, those are only uh, $3 each. That's a really good price. I think I'll get those. Yeah, $3.50 each. That's not bad. What is this? New England Oyster House. 1968, $3. You know what? A lot of oyster stuff sells pretty well. But I mean, it's got some wear on it. It's not really my thing. I feel like that's, someone's probably screaming at me right now. This is cool too. This booth is different. This was not here the last time I was here. And the Lefton Hollyberry stuff is kind of at retail. The Squeak Toy Dog. He's at seven, that's a good deal. It's been a while since I had one of these. Ooh, and then look at these. That's cool. Four dollars. That's a good price too. Stuff like that usually does pretty well for me. Oh, I'm making such, I'm being so weird, especially cause I'm like trying to pack the car. I'm like, let me not buy a hundred more things. <laughs> uh, I came here to look for stuff, but I don't want to get everything because I have no idea what I'm going to find when I'm out on the road. I'm going to go to a lot of places. I'm going to be gone for like nine, ten days or something. There's a lot going on here. Wait, oh, I thought it said alien foot ease. <laughs> Alan's foot ease. Just kidding. That's a little different. Uh, nursing bottle. No, thank you. And then this... This is $6.15. That's a good deal. It's a little boring for the fact that I'm about to uh, leave out of town and I just had one. 
on another day, I'd probably pick that up. Look at this jadeite. Jadeite bone, jadeite cake plate. Huh. Well, this is fresh Christmas. What? I have all but two of my uh, 12 days of Christmas uh, sales planned out. These are at 18. That's a little close for me. These are actually repop, believe it or not. They look like so legit, but I can tell. Hmm, I'm kind of tempted to get these. I feel like it, even at 18, I'd do well. These are getting harder and harder to find. And then what What about, uh, ooh, uh, the little miniature rubber Jose F Originals. Uh, Elf is at 20. I definitely can't do anything with that. Oh my gosh, look at that crazy looking poodle. Now this is kind of different. Huh. What is this? A little paperweight. How much is that? $10. That's cute. Look at this. This is super weird. I really just want to touch these. <laughs> this is another booth that I've been finding a bunch of awesome ornaments in. It's kind of a mixed bag, so you gotta pay attention. I love random booths. Of course, I was too late. But look at this switch plate. Oh my gosh. $8. It's signed. That's so cool. I'm definitely going to get that. And then look at these uh, ashtray coasters. Set of six. Those are neat. Dang, I can't believe I slept on that. That must have happened like immediately. All right, let's see what else we got. The bell is 30. Those are 48. I think I see something. Oh my god. Stop it right now. I'm buying this. I love these things. I even have one of my own. The Mrs. Claus is fantastic. I've never seen that before. Okay, snowman. $12 and 20%. I'll take that. It does say 20%, right? Yeah, that's awesome. This is a really good bank. $50 is fair. Uh, $40 is is really fair. Those have a little paint loss on them. What about this? That's a little nightlight. That's cute. And then the little... Oh, that's adorable, too. Now, here's more Holt Howard. Hold on, let me put my basket down. Uh, this isn't like the best selling set. The mug. Uh, that's kind of cool. The little stand. What about these? These are cute. Six dollars mistletoe. This is neat. I like this compote vase. That would be eight dollars. I think I'll get that. And then uh, here are the little candle holders. Wait, pear. Oh, these are so fun. The candle holders. Oh, there's even stuff down here. <sighs> Almost missed it. $9. Milk glass vase. And 20% off. That's pretty. Gosh, there's a, there's a lot going on over here at this moment. I'm sure you can tell. This is uh, $8 and 20% off. All right, now back to this. Uh, I almost completely missed this. This is at $12. It's definitely a little close after the discount that is, but it's really hard to find these with both its wings. Um, I kind of want to grab this. I wish it was the cat version. That's super cute, though. I regretted leaving a pair of Christmas owls over at uh, Burning Bridge. This is newer than I usually like them, but... I think I'm going to try and throw those in the owl train, especially since they're 20% off. Um, Christmas owls, I feel like, will do well. Safe bet. These are cool candles. $12. And then I'm trying to figure out why this is... Gosh, there is so much noise in here today. Uh, $8. 20% off. I'll take that, too. Those usually sell really well. Look at these glasses. I've never even seen these before. Those are super cool. With the red detail. It's 24 for the set of four. And then 20% off. 
those are really great. Yeah, I kind of feel like since I've never seen them before, they come to like $5 each. I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. I think they're so grand. Oh, here's this an another one of these. I call them twisty things. I know they're called emboli. I think it might be missing the lid. That is so fantastic, though. I really like the look of that. And I like the Viking candy dish. I think I have a Viking fetish. Ooh, this is cool. This is neat, too. Look at this. 37. I like that kind of Hollywood Regency Art Deco vibes. Oh, look at this little guy hiding. How cute. $6. I feel like I could do $6 for that. How is his... Uh... Yeah, that's in good enough condition. I like that the pine cones in plastic blow mold. That's really fun. I think I'm gonna get that. The question is, does it go elves or ornaments? And then here's another angel figurine. I just uh, added, this is left in, that's a good price. I just added a uh, angel sale to my 12 days of Christmas calendar. And the elf is great, but the knee hugger's kinda at cost at 15 with the wear. Well, exciting. This booth has been revamped as well. I figured, since I saw updated pictures online of the other, they're running 20% as well. So I'm trying to pay extra close attention. I know there's been a couple things here in the past that I've wanted to pick up, but have been just a teeny bit close. Oh my gosh, I love this lamp. 65. All right, so now these would be... 20% off, so they're like 10 bucks. Those are really cute. You can make a couple bucks off those. And I'm looking for cats, so why not? Uh, I also added Christmas jewelry onto my schedule. I'm not seeing anything that's really, oh my gosh, look at the candle. Uh, important for me to grab there. This is really weird. What is this? Blue check art deco vase. Whoa, look at this. That's a wild shape. You know what? I am a little nervous about picking up these. I still think they're a little close. Oh, I want to. I'm tempted, but maybe for like a dollar or two less. Oh my gosh, look at this post doll. She's fabulous. I love her. $15 though. Maybe if I wasn't going out of town. I really think that might be a little close. That one's at 30. This is really pretty. I love that color combo. Yeah, I think all this is going to be right around retail. Look at this fun little jar. Wow, that's like paper thin glass. Look, cat mirror thermometer. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. You know what my question is going to be though? How on there is that sticker? Okay, it's not that on there. Some of these stickers, I tell you, you cannot get them off once they've been put on. And it seems to work, too. That's pretty great. And it's vintage advertising. Kind of can't go wrong. For 10 bucks, I am going to go ahead and grab this for knickknacks. I am obsessed with this perfume bottle. $38. I don't think I can do anything with that for resale. I could be wrong. I've seen ones like it. I think those are so neat. I love the shape. I love the color. I love the effect. Totally, totally something I would get for myself, too. Now, here's some more cats. Look at this dragon thing. That's kind of wild. Rex Benson. Oh, it looks Italian almost. I wonder. No, it's Japan, I think. Yeah, 20. Yeah, there's, there's multiple versions. That looks Japanese. Now that I got a better look at it, that's really pretty too. Whoa, look at this. The colors are so pretty. That's at 23 though. I'm sure that's about what I'd get for that after fees. Dude, look at this crazy bangle. How much is this? Six dollars. Oh, that is fantastic. I'm gonna get that for sure. Wait, look at this box. Lucite box. Let me take these flowers out. Thank you. $20. That is fantastic, too. Wow, that's really pretty. 
At first, I thought it was like a box purse and it was missing its handle. But I think that might actually just be a dresser box. It doesn't seem to be missing anything. Wow, it's kind of hard to open. It's really secure. It's really well made. I wonder if this is German. This might be German. I feel like it would say made in Western Germany somewhere. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. That's really fantastic. All right, what else do they have in here? Well, I spent $122 in there. I know my camera's all over the place. I am overwhelmed. I'm going to go home and pack up, and I will see you guys tomorrow on the road at 10 a.m. Eastern.